So my name is uh, Jean-Marc Maxion. I'm a spine surgeon from Montreal. I treat people from all ages with back problems. I'm uh, also a professor of uh, surgery at the University of Montreal. I dedicate about 50% of my time doing research, mainly in spinal deformities and spinal cord injuries. Spondylolysis is when you have a, a crack in your vertebra that separates the front part and the back part of the, your vertebra. The great majority of patients will uh, present with uh, lower back pain, uh, so that's the main complaint. Uh, sometimes patients can have uh, pain uh, in the hamstrings, so the back part of the, of the legs. So it's e either pain or tightness of those muscles. So usually we, we need x-rays to diagnose uh, spondylolysis to see the crack in the, in the vertebra. Sometimes when it's difficult to see, we may need a CT scan. Um, and when patients have some problems, serious problems with the legs or neurological problems, then we, we will need an MRI. There are some activities that are associated with spondylolysis, so we think that um, repetitive uh, uh, and forceful arching of the back can be associated with spondylolisthesis. So that's why some, uh, uh, some sports, some people involved in sports such as gymnastics or uh, weightlifting uh, have been diagnosed with uh, spondylolisthesis. Uh, or spondylolysis, uh, but still with now people are more aware of those problems. So if you have a good training program, uh, if you're aware of spondylolysis, then it's, it is still safe to do those, uh, those kind of sports. So yes, you can continue doing activities when you, when you have spondylolysis, but the most important thing is that if you have intense pain, then it's uh, wise to at least decrease your level of activity so you don't feel as much pain. Um, so that's the most important part and something that we often forget, um, that when you have pain, then it's important to decrease the activity that causes the pain. Spondylolisthesis occurs when you have one vertebra that slips on top of the other vertebra below. So when you look at your spine from the, from the side, then you see that you have one vertebra which is forward with respect to the, the vertebra that is the, the, the vertebra below. With spondylolisthesis, uh, you typically uh, present with low back pain. Uh, so that's the mo most common uh, uh, presentation for spondylolisthesis. Uh, when you compare that to people who have only spondylolysis without spondylolisthesis, um, the people tend to have uh, more leg, uh, more leg pain or more buttock pain. Uh, but still, it's 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 not very common. So it's maybe 10% of patient and they can have weakness or uh, numbness, uh, tingling uh, that goes down to the legs. The treatment of uh, spondylolisthesis depends on its severity. So for low-grade spondylolisthesis, when the slip is, is small, uh, then uh, typically we're going to do uh, what we call a symptomatic treatment. That means that we the main focus of the treatment is trying to relieve the pain. So we can prescribe uh, uh, pain medication such as uh, acetaminophen or anti-inflammatory drugs. Uh, but then uh, when it becomes more severe um, for high-grade spondylolisthesis, when the slip is more than 50%, then we may even need surgery. Uh, I think the most important thing not to forget is that at first, along with the medication, the pain uh, uh, 
uh, the pain relief, it's very important to slow down on the activities that uh, trigger the pain. So until you can relieve the intense pain, then it's very important to reduce the activities. And then if you don't need surgery, then we can start physiotherapy, uh, mainly to restore or maintain the, uh, uh, the range of motion and to strengthen the core muscles. So that's very important on the long run to have a daily or weekly routine for core strengthening to prevent the uh, re-injuring the, the, uh, your back. Yes, it's uh, uh, with spondylolisthesis, you can keep uh, doing your activities, uh, but it's, it's very important not to do your activities and to trigger the pain, uh, but it's still very important to keep a good range of motion of your back and to uh, a strong core muscles. So, so you, you, can, you, you can still do your activities, but Definitely, if you have intense pain, then you, you need to reduce the, the level of, of activities. Mm -hmm.